time for a garage band quick jam. Okay, to get to our Alchemy Synth, we go into the keyboard settings and tap on Alchemy Synth. And before we get started, the minimum devices for Alchemy Synth are the iPhone 6S, the iPad Mini 4, and the iPad Air 2. Unfortunately, all earlier devices will not have Alchemy Synth here in GarageBand. To choose an Alchemy Synth sound, we tap in the top left and we tap on the sound, and now we can choose from arpeggiated, bass, leads, mallets, pads, rhythmic sound effects, soundscape, strings, synth, and vocals. For this example, we'll tap on Synth and we'll go to the classic Super Saw part of the the edges and angles sound pack here in GarageBand. And if you're not familiar with how to use the keyboard or a synth here in GarageBand, please check out my keyboard and my synth quick jam videos, which are linked above and below. To play the synth, we just tap lightly on the keys. Alchemy Synth also supports 3D touch, which means that if we press harder, we're going to get a different effect based on which synth sound we're using. <laughs> To adjust our synth sounds, let's tap on the settings button at the top here and you can see we have our eight presets or snapshots here in the transform pad. And to change our sound, we just tap any one of these eight presets. We can also drag the presets to cover a number of presets providing a very unique sound. You'll notice we also have a reverb and a delay, which are our main knobs here, and these will vary based on the instrument we choose. If we tap our right arrow here, we can now go and manually set any of these knobs to make our very own sound. And one more tap to the right, and we go to our XY pads, where we can actually adjust the sound even further using these settings. And we can even move these while we play to create unique performances. And finally, we have our Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release, which is our basic synth envelope sounds, which will control what happens when we touch and release a key here in the synth. And that is it, the basics of playing the Alchemy Synth here in GarageBand. And that's it for today's GarageBand Quick Jam. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.